dad jokes, the cornerstone of dad humor. They're like, They're like the, the laughter, laughter equivalent, equivalent of getting, getting tickled by a feather duster. So buckle up, because I've got puns by the pound. But, but when, when does a joke become a dad, dad joke? joke? When it when becomes, it becomes apparent, apparent, of course. And do you know why Stevie Wonder fell down a well? Obviously, Obviously he, he couldn't, couldn't see, see that, that well. Dad jokes may make your eyes roll, but deep down, they've, they've got, got the, the power, power to make you crack, crack a smile, smile wider, wider than, than the Grand, Grand Canyon. Canyon. Like what did the janitor say who jumped out of the closet? Supplies. The true masters of the puniverse, where wordplay reigns supreme. So next time you groan at a dad joke, remember, they're just trying to bring a little laughter into your world. One pun at a time. Because let's face it, puns, puns are, are not, not just, just for sailors. sailors. They're, they're for, for everyone. everyone. Oh, and to my friend, rest in peace, boiling water. You will be missed. Hello friends, today we'll be creating some photorealistic portraits inside of Stable Diffusion. And then we'll dive into this video sponsor, Heijin, and create some cool animations for those portraits. Now, for full disclosure, Heijin asked me to check out their new tool. However, they have no say in what I do with the video or what I say about them. So, just wanted to let you guys know that. So we're going to start off in Stable Fusion here just to generate our first image that we are going to animate. So I'm using the deliberate model. I'm going to put in man portrait. I'm going to weight that up a bit with control arrow up. I'm going to add the styles here to the right, default negative, and I'm going to add realistic photo portraits. These styles are free and can be found in the description below. I'm going to change the sampling method to TPM plus plus two keras and we're running 20 steps and let's do two images to start with. And since we are doing a 16 by nine, let's press 16 by nine here. And if you don't have this, you can add it from the extensions. It's called the SD Web UI AR aspect ratio calculator. You can find it in the available list here. Just install that. Then I'm going to activate the high res fix here. I'm just making sure that we're going to do a 1920 by 1080. So 1080, half of that would be 540. So it's 540 there. I'm pressing 16 by 9 again. Repress this high res fix. You can see, yeah. So resize from 960 by 540 to 920 by 1080. I'm just lowering the denoising a little bit, 0.6. That's how much the image will change in the high res fix step. I'm loading an image into control net here just to get my face where I want it in the image. I'm enabling this and I'm using open pose. I'm just pressing here open pose so I will get open pose full and the open pose model. If you need uh, to install control net check one of my videos on that. I'm just going to lower the weights a tiny bit and then we can actually start creating the image that we will be using to, um, well, speak and, and animate. So in this first step, we will get a, a still image, a photorealistic still image. Oh, and remember to click in resize and fill here, or you're going to get a two zoomed image. So we got two results here. We got one image where the eye kind of was messed up here. But the, the second one seems, uh, well, seems kind of fine. We're going to use that. I'm just going to save that on my desktop. Then we're going to go straight into Heijan. When you're in here, you can uh, upload your photo or you can actually generate a face inside of Heijan. Now, we already did that step with Stable Fusion, I, as I like to do it that my own way. But it, you can do that inside here as well. But we're going to upload our image here. And here you can see some of the other faces that I played with before creating this video and some of the presets one down here. So let's take our new one here and we're going to create a new video and we want it in landscape because the photo is 16 by 9. All right, so let's drop in here. Did you hear about the guy who got fired from the keyboard factory? He wasn't putting enough shifts in. And then you can select the voice you want for this. Let's select male here. And something I've noted personally, this isn't to some of the voices here. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. So the premium voices, so the ones with the little yellow diamond here, they actually sound. Hi, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. Pretty good. 
pretty realistic. Hi, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. However, I noticed that the non-premium ones like this. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. Are a little more on the AI side. It's like sometimes they're pretty good. And sometimes they're like, oh, this is a little too AI-ish. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. So I did prefer most of the premium voices. So let's pick one of those. Hi, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. Hi, this is how I sound. Hope you like Hi, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. Let's take Craig here. We're going to select him. Now you can uh, play the script here. So you can hear the script in that voice before you actually submit it and use up your uh, your time. So let's do that here. Did you hear about the guy who got fired from the keyboard factory? He wasn't putting enough shifts in. So yeah, that's okay. So we're gonna submit this and then it starts working and it, uh, it'll take a couple of minutes. All right, so we have our finished video here. Let's check it out. Did you hear about the guy who got fired from the keyboard factory? He wasn't putting enough shifts in. That is pretty good. I mean, obviously you can see that it's not a did you hear about real the guy who person? It's uh, you can see like the teeth are a little bit crooked here the and there, factory. but you know, just from a first he try here. Well, obviously, I've tried the tool before, but this wasn't cherry picked. I rendered the image with you guys and then I put the image into here. So, this was not a cherry picked result for this video. That's what I wanted to say. And this is, um, I'd say, the minimum quality. That you can expect. So it's pretty good. However, you will notice you that if you full screen this, the guy who got fired from the keyboard, you can factory, see like he wasn't putting enough shifts in. It's especially in Did the you eyes a little bit. You can tend to factory? get a little he blurry sometimes. But I've noticed that if you use large images like these, it turns out pretty good. I think I did a couple of tests with like this character here, and this was a little too small or, or too zoomed out in the frame and while it it worked okay the more zoomed in versions were a lot better this image was also generated um, inside stable fusion with the same prompts as the first one that we used now up here to the left they have the avatar feature and i think this is pretty cool because it was in my opinion the most realistic one like let's check bill in a jacket here and this is just an example if we full screen this and watch Bill. Welcome to the new era of video creation with HeyGen. Simply type your script to get started. This is based on a real video of a real person. You can see the hands are cool. He has a watch here and, and like, it's like they have a good base to, to go from. And you can use this with your own, with yourself, like filming yourself with a web camera or a regular camera. And I did a test here with Bill. Let's see if we can find where did Bill go. Here's Bill. In the vast canvas of the universe, astrophysics unveils the secrets of celestial wonders. From swirling galaxies to explosive supernovae, it's a cosmic symphony of forces and energies. Spiral galaxies. You can see here in his face that it's uh, almost flawless. I don't think if, if I just saw this with the background and everything, I would probably not think that this was an AI. Even teeth are, are looking cool. So yeah, I generated a script in, with ChatGPT about um, the universe and astrophysics, swirling galaxies and explosive supernovae. So I think those two features are the main ones, like using the avatars where you can either create your own or where you generate or upload an image and work with that. So you could do yourself and you have it both by doing the avatar pro here and record the avatar light with, with yourself, like we talked about earlier with the with your webcam or your DSLR or whatever. I think that's uh, pretty sweet. Now, obviously there are competitors out there like DID and other tools, but I think HeyGen has a, has a real upside with uh, performance to price. And if we check here pricing, you can actually use it for free fully to get like one minute credit daily. And after that, it's here it says uh, $2.4 a minute and the pro is $2 a minute. So if you need something like this, you can check out their uh, free version and start with that. And if you enjoy it, you know, do your thing.
So what did you think about the results? Are we close enough to be able to use this professionally yet? How far are we from getting fully 100% non-distinguishable avatars? Well, we'll see. Heijin also has implemented some of these features in a Discord bot. So I'm going to link that in the comments below if anyone of you guys want to check that out. And they also have a chat GPT plugin. So you could create your videos straight from chat GPT. So uh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. See ya.